Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Super Fantify. This being a show, it's about TV shows of the supernatural, fantasy, and or science fictional genre. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Pandora. So in this episode, it was kind of interesting. Obviously, we meeting Roy, which I was like, oh, like, they made him such a, like, a bigger-than-life character, which I'm like, I hope we do get to see more of Roy, especially later on, because he mentions, like, oh, like, the ship birthed us, named after his sister birthed our mind. And it's like, oh, maybe you'll get to meet her one day. I'm like, oh, that's going to turn into something. I don't know what, but that seems like that's going to turn into something. But what I thought was really interesting is he's reading a Black Lightning comic book at the beginning. And he also looked like, I don't know, like, uh, there's, like, comic books all around. Like, one of them, another one is a Black Lightning one, but the other one was, like, a Hellblazer, you know, uh, John Constantine. Constantine, if, you, if, if, if you're one of those people. <laughs> um so I thought that was interesting. I was like, uh, I guess because it, I mean, at least here in the States, it's airing on the CW. So like, I would assume that has to do with the fact that it's like, eh, you know, under the Warner Brother umbrella. So you're kind of able to get away with that type of situation. I don't know. But basically Roy, uh, transports stuff and he gets basically hired to do some illegal work. That illegal work has him crossing paths with Xander, Jet, and um, Raylan, as they're looking, investigating, like, these weapons and this shipment may be connected to it, because it's like, obviously, it's like, okay, these weapons that these Sumi pirates had were from Parallax, so maybe this, sh this shipment has, like, there was, a Jet was able to make a connection to it, so they get on board, and obviously, there's a whole thing about, like, I love Roy being like, come on, you've never done anything illegal in your life, and Xander was like, no, and then Jet's like, speak for yourself, and he's like, shut up, Jet, sorry, Captain, um, but basically, it's not weapons that he's transporting. Well, not to a certain extent. It actually turns out to actually be clones. In particular, clones of people who died, uh, people from Earthcom who died during the war with um, Zatar. So it's like, why those specific soldiers? What complicates things even more, though, is that it's actually one of the said soldiers is Ion. Um, Xander's brother we recently learned about um, who died. And obviously for him, it's like he tries to wake... Um, to clone up the talk to him, which obviously, you know, Raylan having gone through the whole thing of, you know, uh, you know, uh, mourning, it's kind of like, you don't want to do this. He's like, I've literally been down that path. It doesn't give you the results you want, but regardless, Xander still wakes him up, but Zion's still like, where's my commander? He's not listening to him, but, you know, so Xander tries to, you know, reach out to whatever part of him is still there. Like, obviously, it might, like, you know, because even Raylan said it, it's like, he may look like your brother, he may sound like your brother, he may, you know, but it's like, that's not your brother, but it's like, you know, Xander's trying to use these particular memories to elicit something, but it doesn't work. Uh, but at the same time, though, they end up getting attacked uh, by marauders, who are another group, kind of basically, they're kind of out, like, obviously, like, the outskirts, you know, the outer rim has issues with the way Earthcom's been running things, and it's been an issue for now, for a while now, but luckily, Earthcom's usually been able to keep it at bay, but it's like, well, with their forces as thinned out as it is now, you know, but it's like, why, it seems like these marauders are connected to, um, this obviously the ship you know Bertha doesn't have any weapons and obviously Roy's losing his ship by being like well last time he ran into him they took some parts luckily they weren't his parts but now he's like oh my god they're gonna dissect me they're gonna take my parts and he's losing his damn mind and obviously Jet's also losing his mind but um when it comes down to it Roy ends up abandoning him I wanted to believe I was like Roy made it seem like he was abandoning you but he's gonna come back with help which he does later on but it turns out uh, he was trying to run away first, but then he felt bad about leaving them behind. Um, the guy who shows up who's part of the Marauders knows Xander. Like, maybe it's something from season one, or maybe it was from earlier this season. I don't recognize the dude. I'm sure if it's kind of a thing of, like, how do you not recognize that dude? That dude is this dude. Um, but he's there to get the, um, the clones. Uh, but it turns out that complicated thing, well... For one, he's trying to figure out, it's like, why was this clone awake? Why is he so important? It's like, well, that was my brother. They're, they're, I guess maybe he didn't know the ins and outs about the clone situation. It's like, they're clones, they're soldiers, you know. He would, probably didn't care the ins and outs about their situation. Of like, oh, they're clones of soldiers that actually died during the war with Zatar. But regardless, it's like, oh, this is your brother? Well, oh, like, you know, family reunion. Oh, well, Zion, kill your brother. It's like, because I, I figured it was going to turn into that. But luckily, um, Xander... 
was able to kind of reach out to his brother at the end. I thought it was kind of dope that his brother was like, oh, nice, uh, you know, you know, uh, shoulder check. He's like, honestly, but you didn't tuck your, tuck like your, well, your arm or your shoulder in. So that's yeah, actually kind of a penalty. Um, but for a moment, he had his brother back. Sadly, his brother wasn't killed, but was dragged away. So, but obviously he put a tracker on his brother so they can track him again. But it's like, you just got your brother back. Because he talked about it earlier with Raylan, like, that's the reason why he joined Earthcom in the first place. Because after losing um, his brother, his mom fell apart. And it's like, for him, he's like, I wanted to be an artist. But, you know, wanting to follow in the uh, footsteps of his brother, he became, you know, he joined Earthcom as well. And for him, it's like, he recognizes how much that hurt his mom because it was like, she had already lost one son to, you know, being a soldier, didn't want to lose another, and kind of already felt like she was already losing one, another one because of that. But, um, but like I said, when it was all said and done, luckily Roy came back, you know, and he had actually said that, like, Ray, uh, actually, um, it was actually, uh, Xander's unwillingness to give up on his brother like that inspired him because he's like yeah I'm normally been a coward because obviously he like writes those stories that he's like oh yeah it's going to be like a, a intergalactic like bestseller but basically he's writing like a fictional story based on like his exploits on like you know as a transporter and obviously like he puts on like that radio voice when he's like I mean you know he's kind of recording stuff making it he's like oh yeah the greatest person and he was talking about like the sexiest and blah 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 um Sadly, all of this did cost him that, like, antique bike he was buying, which I thought was pretty sad because, like, you know, it's kind of like, oh, you know, it's like, well, at that point, Roy had already, I don't think, he hadn't abandoned them yet, had he? I don't think he had. Maybe he had. Um, regardless, it's kind of a shame. It's kind of like, well, too bad for Roy and, you know, losing his bike and everything. And, you know, Zen, uh, he had... Um, Raylan be like, yep, we got to talk, you know, it's like, about that, we have to talk, because, you know, it's like, well, we're not going to screw you over with the whole you stealing our ship thing, because you came back and helped us in the long run, but, um, Jet looks into this whole situation and realizes that it's actually not Parallax that's behind the weapons or the clones, is actually their competitor, and it's like, well, whoever this competitor is, they're working with the Sumi pirates and trying to make it look like it was, um, Parallax who did it. Well, also, and then there's also the whole situation of why get these marauders involved. I it didn't click in my head until just now, but I'm assuming this might have something to do with what Tyranny and Eve are up to. Because you know, Tyranny has beef with her dad, and I'm sure you know Eve does as well. Because it's like I'm sure that's why they're trying to frame Parallax. Maybe, maybe that also has to deal with the grander plot of like stopping the um basically the end of this universe and everything maybe it has something to do with that maybe it, I, I don't know um we are still very much in the dark about what eve and tyranny are planning but uh when it was all said and done though it, you know jed is suspicious of being like yeah you're not just some regular teacher assistant are you xander and he's like that's captain's like captain so it's like jet's on his way to kind of figure out because obviously he's still in the dark about like everything everything that's actually going on like what xander really does him and raylan are mixed up in and jacks as well you know so he's slowly figuring that out but like i said he's still in the dark at like what's greater at play here because i think xander's piecing together that maybe this is connected maybe it's not because it's like if we don't stop this coming war it's going to be an issue because obviously um the universe is going to get wiped out because it's going to be further proof of like, oh, the ra the races in this universe can't come together. So you're just going to always lead to war. So you're not worth saving. So let's just wipe out this uh, universe. So there's that whole thing. But um, on the other side of things, we have Jax. Because obviously, like, she got Greg's message and she's kind of happy for him because it's like, oh, he could do more good there. You know, it's like we're two different places in our life. But then, like, Jack's skin starts turning and I'm like, what the hell is that about? She's, like, feeling weird. Goes, gets checked out. Turns out she's pregnant. I was like, oh, that's that's interesting. But then I was like, huh. I was like, that's going to be interesting. Like, well, you being a Pandora and everything, you're not human, so you're a Pandora. So, like, that's going to be interesting for your child. Cause I was about to say, does that make your child, like, half human, half Pandora? But it's like, and then all of a sudden, like, she was like, yeah, it has to be Xander because it can't be anyone else. But then you see her belly, and I'm like, wait, what? She looks, like, super far along in her pregnancy. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Because it's like, oh, you're not going to be able to hide it for long. And then they showed her belly. I was like, wait, what? I was like, wait, I was like, for, for a second, I was like, well, this is in space and everything. So I was like, did pregnancies work differently? But even then later on, Troll, it's kind of, um, 
Like, no, like, oh, you're getting, like, nine months of pregnancy in, like, uh, such a short amount of time. It's like, oh, okay, never mind. Um, so a normal pregnancy is still, like, nine months, but it's, like, there's, her situation's different. I was like, huh. Especially because Shrala's like, yeah, there is no biological baby, which is like, oh, so and some like, which I guess that also plays into it, like, almost like a miracle baby type of thing. of like, oh. But it's like, oh, so it's basically a clone. It's like, so maybe this is how Pandora's reproduce. It's a situation where, like, well, the other Pandora that was out there was dead, so it's like, you know, the ancient ones being like, oh, yeah, like, you need, um... Uh, we need another Pandora out there, so maybe, I mean, maybe, you you don't think that other Pandora, I was like, no, I was about to say, but I was like, no, I doubt that, because I was wondering, like, could that other Pandora be Jax's actual, like, technical mom? I, I don't think so, um, but maybe it's a situation, maybe that's how Pandora, Pandora's always come about, maybe they're always, like, born from each other kind of like that but obviously it's a conversation to like you know what Jax is going to do because it's like is she, can you, will she keep the baby because at first she's kind of reluctant at first because she's like her life is too chaotic I thought it was super suspicious the moment um Zazie was like I'm gonna keep the baby I was like okay you're all for one you're super like le, like so super not asking a whole bunch of questions about man your pregnancy is super fast this is like super qu- crazy turnaround she didn't ever ask any questions Jax is just too blind to like really like because she's so focused on the baby he's like you're not taking notice that Zazie has like no questions but maybe that's the thing of like oh maybe she did have questions but they don't show it in the episode Two, it's just like she's all on board. Like, no, you can't. Like, it's just I don't know. But you could also be like, and probably in Jax's mind, it's like, oh, this is my a friend supporting me. It's still just like we know, like Zazzy's connected to like even tyranny. So we're just immediately like, okay, you have some ulterior motives. Now, what they are, we don't know. But Shrawl had suggested, like, you know, at the end of the day, it has to be Jax's choice on what she's going to do. Because for Jax, it's like, yeah, she wants to try and give this child as much of a normal life as possible. To be fair, you led a normal life for a good chunk of time. But it's like, that didn't change anything. Because this, all of this, being a Pandora, the ancient ones, and all that, like, it still found you anyway. It's just kind of, uh, it's almost um, uh, inevitable, essentially. So, but she does eventually give birth, and she is, like, you know, it's so interesting, because she had that whole conversation with her mom beforehand about, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, doing anything for your child, you know, once you had a child, and she immediately, like, kind of has a child, because that was, like, last week's episode, I believe, so it's, like, now she, well, not last week's episode, but the week before last, uh, she's, um, but it's, like, she's kind of so in love, and obviously, you know, Sheryl telling her not to get too attached, and she's, like, I know, I gotta do what's best for this child, and it's, like, letting her go, especially with everything going on, it's, like, yeah, I, I'm the one that's supposed to be saving the universe in the next couple weeks, like, obviously, the deadline's coming up, so it's, like, what are you gonna do? So, she wanted one more night, and the moment she's, like, I'll let nothing happen to you, the moment she said, I was, like, yep, and, uh, uh, Zazzy's going to come snatch it. And lo and behold, her eyes are open. I'm like, yep. So I'm assuming that's what they were, especially because Zazzy was all about keep the baby. I'm like, that has to be part of even Tyranny's plan. But I'm like, why? I guess they need a Pandora that they control. Like, because also the thing is like, Jax, I mean, at least by all appearances, it seemed like she aged like a normal kid. Because obviously she was a baby at one point in time, you know, when her, um, when Osborne and Troll and then found her. So it begs the question, like, will her will her baby grow unnaturally? Like, will it be like, oh, a couple weeks or whatever, and she'll be a teenager, or, you know, or is it just going to be a natural growth? But then I was like, May, but like I said, I get the feeling like that since Zazie took the baby, it has to be that, hey, it has of some importance to Tierney and Eve. So this plus everything else that's going on, it's like they made it clear that they had a plan to save the universe as well, that they want the same thing that um, Jax wants, but it seems like they're going about it a different way. But also remember what Tierney said is like, if you do this, Jax will never forgive you. And it's like, I'm assuming this is that like she knew, probably knew that eventually um, maybe this was always a plan or maybe they knew this would happen eventually, but it's like. Why do you need a young Pandora? That's what I'm curious about. Why do you need a... Maybe it's a necessary key component in what they're trying to do. Because remember, they're trying to use that weapon against the Ancient Ones to wipe them out before this universe gets wiped out. Maybe they need a Pandora to be able to control it and to aim it. Because I was about to say, like, not lest they take her and... Because I was about to say, I guess Jax is at the point she's become her own person that she 
can't be manipulated into doing what they want her to do, or maybe they maybe they need a Pandora who's awakened to who they really are. Maybe that's why, because that's why they were working with the other Pandora, so they need a replacement, someone that they can control. And it's like, well, sadly, I'm taking my daughter's daughter. I mean, in a way, weird way, Eve's taking her own grandchild. That whole complicated thing, because it's also a clone thing. It's a whole thing. So it's like, what? What is the meaning to all of it? I, like I said, I think this is for the greater purpose of tr like you know in their mind. I think they believe they're trying to do the right thing, but obviously they're going about it a roundabout way. Like I said, because this whole framing of parallax for like the weapons and the clones, I'm assuming they're behind it. For what purpose? Like I said, Tyranny has her own beef with her dad, but maybe this has something to do with like maybe it's them trying to take control of parallax when this is all said and done. You know, power. I don't know. You know, I will ultimately have to wait and see where things kind of take us with all of this going forward into the next episode. Because obviously, I'm sure when Jack tries to find Zazie, she's not going to be able to find Zazie. And then probably having to explain everything to Xander when they get back and everything. Because obviously, you know, things didn't go down the way they wanted them to. Uh, in front, uh, you know... Uh, getting evidence against Parallax, and obviously, once again, those Marauders having all the clones now. So, well, like I said, we'll see where all this ends up taking us. But really, that's all I want to talk about. Until the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live like to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day, and goodbye.